Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix and today I'm recording a tutorial that was requested by Frank Denvari um, following on from how to use a giant spool of thread with your sewing machine and his request was could I show how you would use um, this spool of thread to fill up a regular bobbin so that's what this tutorial is all about if you've got any suggestions for future tutorials I'll put a link in the comments below um, to a new page that I've got on my website set up just to collect everybody's um, tutorial requests having them in different um, different blocks of comments on websites and in Facebook and on Instagram um, is becoming a bit of a headache for me now. It's all getting a little bit too much now that there are lots of people watching the tutorials. So if everybody can put all of their suggestions in one place, that will make it much simpler and I'm far less likely to miss anybody. And um, welcome to the channel if this is your first time here and hopefully you will like what you see. So to follow along with this tutorial, you need to grab your giant spool of thread, your mug, a shouty dog is not compulsory, although apparently I have one, and a safety pin. And uh, let's get started. <coughs> so as before, what I'm going to do is take my mug and stick the uh, spool of thread in it. This is to stop it falling over and it might be a little bit noisy but it will stop it generally causing any problems and rolling off the table. Pop that down to the side somewhere and then I'm going to take my safety pin and pop that on the end of the um, the end of the spool holder. Now I've not done anything other than wrap up the uh, extra length of thread just to keep it out of the way for my original spool and then you thread through from your giant spool through the eye of the uh, of the safety pin and through for my in my case the little um, twiddly diddly bit here now I'm not going to be running through the normal tensioner and then following on through as I would if I was to thread a needle I'm going to come through around this tensioner here which is specifically for the bobbin so using this safety pin everything then follows through the regular channels that it would normally take my uh, my empty bobbin pop it on and thread it up and then you use it as you would normally to load a bobbin and then everything just runs through as you would expect and that really is all there is to loading up a bobbin using a giant spool of thread so if this has been useful I've got some other tutorials around bobbins if they've been giving you some trouble recently and I will uh, link to those up in this corner here and hopefully I shall see you again soon if it's been useful please subscribe share like comment all of the jazz and uh, if you've got any suggestions for tutorials pop them down in the uh, in the link below speak to you later bye for now